Okay. I don't know why people always say we're so similar. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Anyways, let's, let's get, get to, to work. work. <laughs> Boom, watch fam. What is up, watch fam? I am Christian, the curator of the Theo and Harris Vintage Watch Shop. And I'm Michael. <laughs> uh, if you guys are not familiar with the series that we do, Michael and I both sit down yes. and uh, just look at a bunch of uh, watch news topics, different conversations. Yep. We riff a bunch. Nothing here is scripted. That's why a lot of it's very inappropriate. Yes. And uh, no, it's not that bad. Well, I think it's it was to say. Um, and uh, great. So what are the topics on uh, today's docket? Mikey? The main topic today is you all want boring watches. And I just preface this by saying, as always, we title the video so you click on the video. Yes. This is not an attack. How f***ing dare you? I will get DMs that literally are threatening our lives. Yeah, get out of here. Come on, but, you me, pal. Anyway. <laughs> joke now. Is it going to is so... Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Hulk smash! <laughs> oh yeah, right, right, right. And the funny part is, we make it up. I say people are gonna get unsubscribed, and then you mad, get mad at these people. Oh, I bet they will say that. Uh, great. So yeah, yeah. People, people want boring watches, and it's a f***ing shame. And yeah. All you guys need to shape up. And I wanted to open this with this is, I believe, a fake quote, but still, it's it's been around the internet. What well, is a fake quote? It's a quote that's. Are you not... about to read it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So then it's real. Whoa. Say stum pipe. Put it. But uh, this is a quote that's gone around Reddit a lot, and I always thought it was so funny. I'm sorry, I have to correct myself. That would have meant this is a pipe. The real quote, I don't know what it is. I don't speak French. But <laughs> it is, this is not a pipe, because it is a painting of a pipe. And JLC did a reverso with that thing. Really? Yes. In their enamel department. Super, super cool. I actually don't get the historical significance of the pipe thing, but I, I mean, it makes sense. Well, pipes are really good. They carry things. In them. No, no. <laughs> it's like your watch carries time. <laughs> I'm going to say this guy's name wrong, Satoshi Tajiri, creator of Pokemon video game franchise, said, and this is going to tie into the watches, you all think you have great ideas for Pokemon games, but if I actually listened to all of you and we combined all of your ideas into a game, it would be an unplayable, monstrous game. Whenever I receive one of these rants, I go to the development floor and read it aloud to all the Game Freak employees in a mocking voice, and we all <laughs> laugh at you. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that is the funny. And the icon is him with a crown smiling. I love that. But so anyways, breaking that down, we're going to go from the craziest watch to a more like, I picture it as like a suit. You see like the buttonholes actually are functioning. There's like stitching down here, like more refined, mm -hmm. but still custom. And then a straight player, just a regular yep. everyday, every man watch. Yep. And then we'll talk about why people are boring. Great. Cool. So let's do it. And look what I featured first for you. This is a Hublot, actually, and Zach Pina, Pina, another thing I'm going to say wrong, from, from a blog to watch, basically opened up with this quote that inspired all of this. If the traditional self-aggrandizing watch enthusiasts were in charge, we would all be awash in sober 39mm no-date references with colorless matte dials, integrated stainless steel bracelets, and nonsensical hand-wound movements. What do you Whoa. think about that quote? I, I, th it, it hit me enough to make this the topic of the video, yeah. but I'm kind of like, yeah, I, yeah, that is well, what I, I think he's, I think he's right. I mean, and, and, and I could replace that, you know, quote or, or rather put that quote in different context with watch media yeah. and it's the same thing, right? If, 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 if I didn't literally argue constantly with the brand marketing people, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, when I say argue, I mean like, you know, Push. heated discussion at, yeah. uh, from opposing perspectives. Uh, they would produce the most boring thing possible. The most, you know, lukewarm... A sit-down um, watch review. Yeah, it's a sit-down yeah. watch review. It's just like, oh my god, who's... I mean, yes, that does something. It is a tactic, but it is not a very compelling tactic. Right. And uh, it's, it's the same thing as you're right. The, the very generic... 39 millimeter, no date, traditional, nothing fun about it. Yep. Um, not to say that's not a good one, but that's what everything would be. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a that's a shame. And, yeah. and and the worst thing about these traditionalists that are that are whether that's in the product end or on the media end is they're so up their own ass too. Mm. Oh my god! At least we look at a concept and you know kind of humbly and say, okay, I think this would be good. How do we improve it? How could it fail? And how do we how do we put fail safes in order? You know, the, these people are just like, yeah, no, I'm right. Yeah. I'm like, oh, come on, man. Yeah. Be, be a little daring. Be a little crazy. Have some fun. Have Speaking some of which, Hublot. <laughs> Hublot. Hublot. Oh, yeah, so this is this is really just a refreshed case material, and it's a new turquoise anodized aluminum Big Bang Unico. 
So really, it's not aluminum. Too, too... Is that a thing? I didn't realize they were watched with aluminum. Yeah, very I light, titanium. very solid. But we always talk about Hublot. It always keeps coming up. This specific example is just Hublot is that company that's just like, no, I'm not going to make that 39 mil. Well, that's yeah. what they started off with, yeah. kind of. But this is the complete opposite end. This is a massive watch. Super bright for summer and everything like that. 42 millimeters, 100 meter water resistance, 72 hour power reserve, $21,000. I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's great. I think it's fun. Zoom in on the uh, date window. One second, sir. Is it in the sub dial on the right? Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Date yeah, window. that's bad. I wouldn't staring. buy the watch because, you know, for yeah, $21,000, it's just not it's just not my budget. Yeah. There are other things I want to spend you know, 20, 000. 30, 40, 50,000 dollars on. Yeah. And that's not one of them. Um, but if like, but I would one immediately connect with someone that did buy that watch. I think it would mm -hmm. be awesome. Yeah. Number two, if I had that watch on loaner, I would wear it mm -hmm. basically the whole, the whole time I had it, give or take. Yeah. I would actually wear that watch. It's hysterical. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. It's loud. It's like, Whatever. I'm at the pool hanging out. I'm at the pool hanging out. Whatever happened to having fun? I yeah. don't know. Whatever happened to it? The girls just want to have it now. <laughs> great anyways number two this is now like i said the suit the very small well this isn't too small but the details are what it's about not necessarily the glamour huge loud thing i love this watch you've seen this no but i already love it oh my god JLC's omg omg it's a girl's night out jlc GNL. 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 or a guy's afternoon in a gay it's <laughs> <laughs> <The laughs> an yeah. office quote uh, JLC unveils limited edition Reverso Tribute Enamel Hokusai Curry Furry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> First off, that front dial Thank you. immaculate. That is oh my gorgeous. God. That is so elegant. It's insane. I mean, I'm. That's one of those things. You know what I mean? Like, that yeah. is just so detailed and so elegant. So, this is, uh, again, I, I'm just going to keep butchering these names. Katsushika. Hosai, Hokusai. He's a very famous Japanese artist. He did the big wave, which is very relevant to Seiko because they put that on the back of their SKXs. Yeah. But that's kind of the Japanese painting. Everybody's like, oh, that's a Japanese painting. Right. He's the guy that did that. So this is a tribute to a different painting that he did called <laughs> Kiri Furry, Kiri Furry, K I R I F U R I. Kiri Furry. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, anyway. Wow, it's $95,000. Oh, yeah, it's $100,000. Whoa! Whoa! So, it's a little more reserved in design, not in price. It's a bit louder in price, obviously. But the size is good, 27.4 times or by you're really paying for the you're paying for the enamel work on the case back. Yes. yes. And the dial is what? Do you know? In terms of what Material. is it? Material. Is it also enamel? I do not believe it's enamel. I believe it's carved in well, or, or etched. So, okay, so I think that's a lot of money. Me too. Well, um, yes, I heard that is a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, I think that's a lot of money, and give me a second while I verify if that's a lot of money or not. <laughs> okay, I love this watch. I think it's incredible. Yes. I, 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 I don't want to speak in, a, in absolutes about this. I'm not an enamel expert. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I am so one of the most... I, have no, I know nothing about... Oh, virtually nothing about enamel. Yeah, okay, okay, sure. But... The comparable, like famous, you know, uh, enamel watch from Paddock is their World Time, mm -hmm. which comes in at sixty-six thousand euros, so it's about a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, and it is a World Time. Mm -hmm. So this at time only at ninety mm. doesn't, you know, it, it, it does it does seem to me, as someone who does not know anything about enamel, yes, it does seem um, like a lot. Yes, that could very well not be true. Mm -hmm. I just do think that. And I mean, I'll do more research about the watch, but I do think that that is something that JLC should get in front of, right? Mm -hmm. Because if I was a, a buyer for this watch, I would mm -hmm. say, frankly, I am considering a couple of enamel watches. Why? Why this one? Right. And the, and the message can't just be, well, what it represents. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. The answer right, has right. to be, uh, not all are created equal. Mm -hmm. You want to, it's like comparing two sedans. Right. Not all sedan. Like, you know, you, yeah, by yeah. saying enamel is, means nothing. It's like, uh, you know, saying we both had seafood for lunch. And then you open your mouth and goldfish. <laughs> falls out. Yeah. Exactly. Like the snack. Like the snack. Like childhood snack. Right. Not, uh, not uni on a bed of, you know, scallop, you no. know. Yeah, so anyways, like I said, Gorgeous obviously stuff. super loud. This is your more refined thing. And then we go down to an everyday watch, yep. which is... Hamilton released their field khaki in bronze. Super cool watch. Which everybody is doing now. It's awesome. Yeah. Bronze oh, is it. 
Bron- bronze, bronze is, in, is like, so for supper. Bronze right is it's in. the second time in a row I've used that same <laughs> Bruno reference. Yeah. Every time you show me something, I'm like, oh, Ish don't think so. Yeah. If you guys Bruno fan, if you guys liked Bruno, if you guys grew up watching Bruno at nine years old like I did, because yeah. my dad was probably overexposed me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Christian, uh, watch Comment Bruno. down below. Yeah. But before we get into this bronze watch, we should probably talk about uh, a couple of Rolexes yes. you so, got here. So... Uh, this is a GMT reference 16750. This is mm-hmm. a third generation GMT. Yep. It was 64, uh, 6542, which was the Bakelite. Mm-hmm. And then there was 1675. Yep. And then there was a 16750. Uh, this is almost indistinguishable to a 1675. Mm-hmm. You still have the silver um, date window. You still have the matte dial. You have eggshell plots here. This is a really clean Pepsi bezel. The case is very clean cut. You're not really going to get a better GMT. Yeah. Not and- really. If I am, if, say I'm a doctor, right? Yeah. And I want to wash my hands You with would watch. never pass medical school, by the no. way. No. Vehemently, I would try, but I would never make it. You'd be like, I see a film. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cinematic. You're like, he's dying. But it's, if you look at it, it's kind of beautiful. Yeah. But say I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah. And I say, Chris, I need to wash my hands. What would you send me? You know, these professional Rolexes, they are, you know, depth rated. Yeah. Now, we never recommend people, you know, swim with vintage watches. It's just too great a risk. Just take your watch off. What's the big deal? Right. I don't even wear a watch, you know, in the pool, period. You, you swim know? naked. I, I pool. swim naked. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Michael. Yeah, thanks. To, to air my dirty laundry. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yes, these watches still are waterproof. We, you know, they're they're yeah. pressure tested. Mm-hmm. Right? So today when someone asked, hey, like, uh, when I wash my hands, can they get exposed? To water, I was like, "Wait, hold on, let me send you a video." And I didn't send him a video of me washing my hands. I sent him a video under the faucet, just like yeah. pouring on it. You know, here's the video, and uh, like, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. like it's an old watch, but like, yeah, it's you're good. okay. I mean, don't don't go swimming, but yeah, you and theoretically you could. It's just, oh, you could. It's just why would you do that? Why would you risk it? Right, but yeah. with 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 uh, with rain or with humidity or with you know sink water, uh, the risk is nothing. It's, 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 okay, if the if it's a good watch, if it's a good watch and pressure tested not, regularly, exactly right. Pressure tested once so, is not um, enough. That's it. So this is a beautiful watch, and then this is on the opposite side of the Rolex spectrum. Uh, a beautiful little Oyster Perpetual mm-hmm. original shred driven bracelet. Let's get cozy. Stunning, stunning watch. It's the original Rolex box. Uh, try this on. Just try. It's just the condition is unbelievable. It's it's a gorgeous piece. Yeah, it looks sweet. Awesome, right? Yeah. Good set. What is this, 34? 34. 34. Rolex I wears like it. a 35. And it's, it's, it's a perpetual. It's, a, it's Whoa. an automatic. Really? Yeah. Thin case it's from amazing, automatic. isn't it? Yeah. What year is it? That is from 1958. 1958. You could tell because it's a blue steel seconds hand, and you could see the loom burns, which oh, is really cool. Oh, my God. So nice, right? Yeah. Anyway, this watch is spectacular. It is available in the Theo and Harris watch shop. I highly recommend you go over to the Theo and Harris watch shop. A Rolex in this condition with its original box um, is a very rare thing to come upon, especially in a rare configuration, uh, and under $10,000. Significantly. This watch is like five grand. So, so. It's, it's amazing. If I was to want a vintage watch, where should I go? Oh, there's only one place to go for a vintage watch. eBay? <laughs> now, head on over to the Theo and Harris Watch Shop. It is all curated by me. I buy all of the watches, and I am the one that you buy them from when you look to buy a watch. So, you know, shoot me an email. Let's talk about watches. Yeah. Let me help you out. Yeah. Let's info at TheoandHarris.com. Info, well, info at TheoandHarris.com and Theo and Harris Watch Shop. And then our strap shop, too, which is amazing. Yes. So, strap a lot of you guys already are buying straps. We sell a ton of straps every day. So, it's all good. You don't need to buy much. No. Yeah, no <laughs> so actually, straps. stop buying them. <laughs> yeah, straps are amazing. Head up. Check them out. Next subject. Okay, so. This is, like I said, this is the Hamilton Bronze. It's yep. 38 millimeters. Q, or sorry, that's a C. C-U-S-N-8 Bronze Alloy. Okay. It's a beautiful watch, 15 meters water resistance, ETA based. It's not anything crazy. It's an everyday, yep. every man's watch. Since it is bronze and new, it's $825, yep. which is it's a little st- it's steep for a Hamilton khaki. It's steep for Hamilton khaki, but it's not steep for this watch. Exactly. Yes. But that kind of concludes our three levels. This yes. is your everyday, like, this is a cool watch. You wear it around, you smash it around. Yep. Great. Now, broadening that up, the watch world is much more inclined to want this, yep. but even simpler than that. This is also manual wind. Yep. So, how do we even start? Why does the watch world want that? Why are we so reserved in style and this is what we want and this is what we want it to be? Why can't they? And why aren't people more open to stuff like this? Or why aren't people more open to just more like crazy designs from different brands? Like, why is it always reserved and why are all these people commenting? I think, I think that it's our. I think it's just our culture. I, I can't speak to other cultures so much. I can speak to a few, but, you know, American culture is 
fair, it's just a fairly conservative place. Yeah. You know, of course, it's, it's so, I don't, you know, it, I'm talking about style wise, uh, not otherwise, but style yeah. wise, you know, people, um, you know, look at what we wore as kids, you know, I mean, our, it yeah. was fairly, it was lukewarm, you know, mm-hmm. when I, you know, when I, I went to Italy a lot growing up and I remember the kids wearing far bolder clothing. Mm-hmm. Um, they were wearing bright swatches. Mm-hmm. I would have gotten my ass to wearing a bright swatch, right? You know, and I, I grew up in the suburbs, so like yeah, even right. there, you right. know, you were, you know, in, unless you were wearing, you know, uh, oh, f- what was it, famous, the fam- big F, yeah, yeah, know? yeah, uh, and and long cargo shorts, like you know, it was ridiculous. There was just a kind of that culture of, of conservative conformity mm-hmm. uh, with what we like, and it carries through to adulthood. Yeah, you know, period. End. Um, you know, I even like I said before, I'm careful with what watches I wear, mm-hmm. not because I don't want to express, but because I'm sometimes afraid of who's my audience. Yeah, right. God right. forbid someone thinks the wrong thing about me, and that person's opinion matters to me, and I know I'm only going to have a very short interaction. And uh, like the most obvious thing is like brands cater to what's wanted. If the, 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 their louder watch doesn't go, the conservative regular watch does. That's the watch. The ma- the, the mass, the mass matters. Yeah, you know what, what what the what the smart watch geek likes is not worth that much money. Mm-hmm. You know, to the world, it's yeah. not worth that much money to the market. Right. What the just what the guy, what the twenty year old, what the, what the regular thirty year old likes. Yeah, that's where the money's going to go. Uh, and it's a shame. I would love to see you know uh, um, people be a little bit bolder. Yeah, I feel like it's so freeing. Yeah, you know, and it's more fun. It's just more fun. What, what's wrong with a turquoise watch? Yeah, you right. You know, I mean, right. and maybe you don't like it, and that's fine. But there are a lot of people that look at that watch and say, uh, "Wow, that's, that's actually a really cool color," but I could never wear it. Well, yeah, why? Right. And forget the twenty thousand dollars. Let's put it right. down to a swatch. Put it down to a hundred bucks. How many of you people would actually wear a yellow swatch? A red G Shock stuff like, like that. Why not? It's yeah. fun. Yeah, it, it, it's. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit too connected to the stuff. Who knows? Well, the what? thing is. We've been in watches for a very long time. Like, you got the tradition, the, the Brigade, Brigade tradition, yeah. because it's not what is a very popular watch. Because, not because you don't like a day just or something. It's just because you've had so many. You're like, yeah. I want, want like a watch that's my own now. Yeah, ex- exactly right. You know, and, and, and the weirder you get, probably the closer that watch is to who you are. Yeah. You know, yeah. the odds that, you know, if we all fall into the same generic buckets, it probably means we don't have a very good understanding of who we are. Yeah. Right? Right. Um, see, that's a good, write that down. Write that yeah, down. I was going to we'll say We'll make a film around that. Say it again? Yeah. <laughs> that, I was like, oh, good point. Wow. But, uh, but it's, it's, it's the truth. Yeah. So I would love to see more things like this on people's wrists. Same. But ultimately, I think that people are uh, timid and people are a little sheepish yeah. and people are uh, looking for affirmation from the public and um, a blue sports watch with an integrated bracelet that is very conservative and chic right now or in Mm -hmm. that's where they're going to spend their money yeah and uh not there's anything wrong with those watches because they're nice watches yeah not also is a cool watch yeah but um but geez there's so much else out there that i wish people were talking about so yeah let us know what you think it's like me like the scotch in a in a leather chair at night there's so much more there's so much more in the watch world people don't see now people just don't see it i encourage everyone to buy us we're actually working on a piece right now uh for swatch a really beautiful uh commercial i think you guys are gonna love it's um we can give a sneak peek. Can no. we? No, we won't. Oh, no, we won't. Do we have it? No. I'm no, talking about the concept. <laughs> oh, 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 the concept. No, no, no. We'll reserve it. We're going to reserve it. I'm it's going to be amazing, though. We're working with all these, you know, big expensive brands. So I was like, you know what? I want to do something for, you know, kind of the brand at the foundation of a, of a lot of this, right? Swatch is at the bedrock of so many of our passions. So yeah. it's going to be fun. Yeah. Anyway, shop watches, theowenharris.com. Shop com. straps, theowenharris.com. Yep. And uh, that's it. You know the drill. Since yesterday. Ah, uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs>